Hello and good day to everyone watching this conference presentation video. My name is Anand Rai Raja and today I'll be presenting my paper titled Engineering Properties of Cement Paste with Polypropylene and Carbon Fibers. I would like to start my presentation with a common fact that concrete, the backbone of construction, well known for its impressive compressive strength, but it has a weakness, and that is its brittleness especially when subjected to tension-induced stress. To tackle this weakness, engineers turn to fiber-reinforced concrete, or FRC, where various fibers are strategically added to the mix. Today, we will go into the impact of two types of fibers, which is polypropylene and carbon fibers. So the first fiber I would like to introduce is the polypropylene fiber, which is a lightweight, low-friction synthetic material offers remarkable benefits when incorporating into a concrete mix and it is white in color. So when it, it is incorpor incorporated into concrete, it enhances the tensile strength, ductility, and also it mitigates the formation of cracks. But it is not without its own challenges. It does reduce the flowability of the concrete mix due to the fiber obstruction. The second fiber that I would like to introduce is the carbon fiber. It has high elastic modulus and also high tensile strength. Besides that, it is black in color and it is also a game changer when incorporated into a concrete mix. It boosts compressive strength, flexural strength and resistance to cracking. Yet, like the polypropylene fiber, it comes with a trade-off as well, which it decreases the flowability, which impacts the concrete mix flow. The objective of this paper is to study the effects of polypropylene fiber and carbon fiber on the engineering properties of the cement paste. To understand the magic of polypropylene fiber and carbon fiber, let's dive into our study methodology. Materials we use are cement, polypropylene fiber, carbon fiber, and water. And for the test, we have FASM, which is Field Emission Scanning Electron Microscopy, to determine the diameter and surface of the fiber. And then we have flowability tests, hardened density tests, compressive strength tests, and flexural strength tests. And I've listed down the standards that we use for the paper. Here is a glimpse of the mix design used. There are three different specimens. Well, first is the control, where we don't have any fiber in, in the mix. Second, we have PF of polypropylene reinforced cement. And then we have CF, which is carbon reinforced cement paste. And we also maintain a fixed water to cement ratio, which was crucial in our experiment. So now we will be going into the results section of the presentation today. The first part, which is the microstructural properties of fibers. Microstructural properties matter. We analyze the diameter and the surface topography for both polypropylene fiber and also the carbon fiber. So for the diameter, I've listed in this, the slide as shown. And for the surface of both fiber, for polypropylene fiber, it does have a smooth surface, while the carbon fiber does have grooves, which does show that it has deformation. These details does influence the performance of the fiber inside the cement paste. The next property we'll be discussing is the flowability of cement paste. In construction, the flowability of cement is a crucial parameter that governs its ease of handling, placement, and subsequent consolidation. Our study showed that polypropylene fiber and carbon fiber had minimal impact on the workability as indicated by comparable flow diameters. This is due to the low fiber content in the design mix. So as you can see from the graphs, there's only very small differences between the cement paste without fiber 
and the cement paste with fiber. And I've also included pictures taken during the testing. You can see the differences is very minimal between each uh, samples. The next property we'll be discussing is the hardened density of cement paste. Hardened density reflects the compactness and internal structure of cementitious materials after the curing process. So we did 7 days, 28 days, and also the 56 days. The denser the concrete, the higher the compressive strength and durability. As the curing progresses, all specimens exhibited increased density. Notably, polypropylene fiber, reinforced cement paste, had the lead on the seventh day among all the specimens. However, on the 56th day, the carbon fiber reinforced cement paste had the highest hardened density. The next property that we'll be discussing is the compressive strength. Compressive strength assess the ability of the material to withstand axial loads without failure. Our findings, polypropylene fiber and carbon fiber reinforced specimens consistently outperform the control specimen in compressive strength. This can be attributed to the fiber matrix interaction, which is the fiber in the cementist matrix, or in this case cement paste, arrest the propagation of cracks. It controls the cracking. So I've included some photos. So as you can see here, there's several levels of cracking. The severity of the cracks from each sample, from each specimen. So as you can see, the control specimen has the worst levels of failure or cracking and then followed by, and then it starts to get better with the polypropylene specimen and also the carbon specimen and finally we'll uh, at our last property which is the flexural strength of cement paste flexural strength is an indicator of a material's ability to withstand bending and tensile stresses over time, as you can see in the graph, carbon fiber reinforced cement paste exhibited the highest flexural strength. The fibers acted as a crucial reinforcement, limiting the crack propagation. So I've included two different videos in this slide. So first I'll be showing the control sample. As you can see, the sample split into two different parts. Now we'll go into the second video, which is the polypropylene reinforced specimen. As you can see, the specimen for the polypropylene reinforced cement paste only has a crack as shown with the yellow arrow in the video. And this is the same case with the carbon reinforced cement paste where we can only see a crack in the middle of the sample which shows that the fiber in the cement paste does control the cracking and finally we are at our last part of our presentation today which is the conclusion in summary our study brings us to some compelling conclusions the first is that the addition of polypropylene fiber and carbon fiber marginally affects the flowability of cement paste, but the flow diameter were comparable to control specimens. This is due to the low fiber content. The next conclusion is the hardened density, compressive strength, and flexural strength of all specimens increase consistently with longer curing periods driven by ongoing hydration processes that reduces pore volumes and increased material density. But with the addition of polypropylene fiber and carbon fiber, it significantly improves cement paste engineering properties, outperforming the control specimen in hardened density, compressive strength, and flexural strength. This underscores the potential of polypropylene and carbon fibers to enhance engineering properties of cement paste. Besides that, I have included references in case anyone wants to check out the information further. 
that is all for me today. Thank you for watching. I hope everyone learned something new. Bye!